On Christmas morning, we received a gift. It's not a gift that we particularly wanted, but it's a gift that we need to talk about. The KSI Deji Feud stooped to an all-time low. It stooped to a low that really does blur the lines between real and fake, and it beckons the question, uh, what's next? Like seriously, what's next? Now before I get into the juicy details of this video, I would like to say thank you for tuning in first of all. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're new. Now, I wanna know what everybody got for Christmas. I wanna know what everybody did for Christmas. Please drop a comment down below. Tell me what you did for Christmas. Hopefully you didn't fight with your family members and call the cops on one of them. Hopefully you didn't do that. But if you did, please, by all means, let me know. Now we all know the story about Deji and KSI. They're brothers, they're YouTube megastars. They've been feuding the past couple of weeks. They've been exchanging diss tracks, YouTube clips, uh, Twitter comments, Insta comments, TikToks, everything. Every possible way that these guys could flame each other and drag each other through the dirt, they've done it. Now while the feud seemed to be sort of fading off a bit, we were hit with a crash, bang, wapow, on Christmas morning. Now apparently Deji and KSI met up on Christmas day, they were trying to patch everything together, they said, you know what, family is the bigger picture here, it's all about the family, let's just put our differences aside, whatever differences we have. I've seriously forgotten what differences they have at this point. You know what, let's just put them aside. Let's put family first. Let's have a great Christmas together. Uh, that's what they said. That's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. There was a video that surfaced about uh, these two kicking off and apparently KSI was abusing their mother and Deji was like, don't abuse my mother, man, blah, blah, blah. And Deji threatened to call the cops and KSI just left and he said, you know what? This thing's pointless. I gave it all I could. And ever since then, Deji has done like three or four videos on KSI saying pretty much the same stuff. It's like this weird vicious cycle that just, it appears to have no end. KSI has just been doing a regular YouTube schedule. He's just been uploading videos almost daily. These videos just have nothing to do with the brother or the situation or the beef at all. It seems as though he is just trying to forget about this thing. He's trying to move past it, but Deji, oh, Deji is doing the complete opposite. I have no idea where this feud is going at all. Like, I'm just completely lost at this point. Now, ever since the beginning of this little uh, feud, um, my vegan senses have been going off the chain and I've been smelling some fake beef here, there, everywhere. And I was one of the many skeptics online that said, this is clearly for views. This is clearly not real. These guys probably don't hate each other as much as they say. This is all for attention. And uh, it's pretty clear that this is for views. This is for attention because this is YouTube. This is social media. This is what stuff is about. The fact that they're posting anything about this means that they are doing it for the views. That's point blank done. You can seal that, put a full stop on it, move on. Obviously it's for views, okay? My problem was, this is so clearly fake. Like you cannot look at this situation as a rational human being, although I have a TikTok account, so maybe I'm not so rational. Uh, you can't look at this as a rational human being and say, this feud is completely 100% real. These guys hate each other. Every single calling card of a fake beef was there, laid out right in front of our eyes. Nothing really swayed my opinion to say, oh, actually, I think this might be real. That was until Christmas Day happened, and that was when stuff really got real. It almost got too real. Now, again, this could 100% be a massive publicity stunt pulled by these two brothers just to pull the wall over the commentary community's eyes and just have them hook, line, and sinker. That could actually still be a possibility. But let's look at what it actually, actually might be. The fact that these two brothers have been just going back and forth, not really having any resolution. Uh, it seems like KSI has been wanting to resolve the thing, but Deji has been just doing really weird stuff. Like he just wants to continue the feud and continue it and continue it and just lead it to a point where it's just like this big convoluted mess. But it seems as though Christmas day was just the, the straw that broke the camel's back. And these two, I don't know what happened, but these two just went off at each other completely. And there's other family getting involved and cops were getting involved. And it's just a complete mess. 
ruined their family's Christmas 100%, but it made ours 100% the best thing ever. But you know what? The fact that all this happened on Christmas, of any day in the year it happened on Christmas, the fact that this actually happened on Christmas really does ask the question, could this thing be real? So ever since this happened, again, these guys are just going back and forth on Twitter, making just these long paragraph responses to each other. They don't really do anything. They don't really serve a purpose. They don't further the story. They don't resolve the story. They just, as I said, just keep the story going in this weird convoluted circle that is really leading nowhere. And so I asked the question at the beginning of the video, like what's next? The only logical response from both guys is to just come together, apologize, squash it, move on, right? That's the logical response. Otherwise these guys could just keep doing exactly the same thing they've been doing. Just go back and forth, back and forth, diss track, video, diss track, video, tweet, 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 tweet. And the whole thing is just gonna get so old. Whether it's real or not, we're all just gonna get tired of it. We're gonna move on because we kind of had moved on already. And it was just this big bombshell that dropped on the 25th of December that just had everybody just up in a tailspin, just freaking out, wondering why is this happening? Why is this happening? But there is that cynic in me that just continues to look at this whole story, drama, saga, feud, whatever way you want to spin it, there is a part of me that still looks at this and says, there is something off about this feud. There is something not right. There is something not sitting right in my gut. And it's probably the kombucha I had. It's probably the cheese that I had on a tortilla with some tomato sauce. That could possibly be the reason why my stomach is not feeling so great. But there is some part of me that just cannot shake the feeling that this story is completely fabricated. I have no doubt in the world that these guys actually hold some form of animosity towards each other. But I really, really do think that we might be getting hoodwinked. We might be taking for the biggest ride in the history of YouTube. We might be being worked like we've never been worked before. And I'm willing to bet that these two are sitting next to each other right now, just rubbing their hands together, counting all those AdSense dollars and saying, you know what? We took these guys for a ride. We completely goofed the entire YouTube community. I don't wanna say I hope I'm wrong, but I hope that this is not just a big ploy to get views and to get attention. I mean, if this is just a massive elaborate plan to get people to click on their videos, to get views, to get AdSense dollars, to get people talking about them once again, if this is what this is and it blows up in their face completely, this might be something that these two, not just Deji, not just KSI, but both of them, this might be something that they cannot recover from at all. This could actually be a career I wouldn't say ending, but it's gonna be a severely career damaging move if it's all revealed to be a massive ruse and these two were in on it from the beginning or at some point along the weird convoluted storyline that they just decided to team up and do this thing together. If it's revealed that that was the case, mm -mm. bad news for you guys, bad, bad news. I would even think even the most loyal KSI and Deji fan would say, mm, that's kind of, not only is it messed up, but it's kind of pointless. It's not really something that we want to see. Even if it is fake, I don't really think this is something that people wanted to see in the first place. I don't know if it's real anymore. I don't know if it's fake anymore. Everything has just become so fuzzy. It's really, really hard to make any sense of the whole situation. Um, the, I guess the most rational response would be that this is real and it's a family issue that's gone too far and these guys need to take it off YouTube and off Twitter and resolve this the way that any normal family would resolve it and that's face to face. And I, until then, I guess we just sit around and we just wait. I would just sit in front of my computer and just refresh my Twitter feed and just wait for the next juicy content to drop. I don't know, that was it. Uh, I guess this was just like a little bit of a rant video. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning here in Australia and I'm really, really tired. So this video might not make a whole lot of sense. It's just me sort of rambling and I don't know. It's not much else. Is it entertaining? Possibly, I don't know, you guys might actually like it. You know what, if you did like this video, make sure you drop a comment down below. Tell me, uh, what did you like about this video? It could be anything at all. If you didn't like this video, give it to me. Give it to me. I, I'm ready. My body is ready. And um, that's it. Until next time. I'll see you. I'll see you later.